Good morning from the fifth park of our Europe road trip. Today we're here in the Netherlands and we're back at Wallaby Holland. We haven't been to this park since 2019. It feels like ages. It does. I'm looking forward to getting back on our favourite ride. And along with that, for the first time, we're going to be experiencing the Halloween Fright Nights as well. So your park ticket includes entry into Fright Nights and then any attractions that you want to do, you can pay extra for. Yeah, so they've got all sorts of Halloween attractions. They've got some good scare mazes. They've also got some extreme attractions. So I'm looking forward to seeing it all and we're going to be covering it in this vlog. Oh, I do like the fountain package down here at the entrance. And look how spooky the sky looks just over there. We could be in for quite a wet day here at Wallaby, but we'll make the most of it. The park's open from 10 a.m. through until 11 p.m. So we've got a full day. And yeah, my big coat's back out now for the first time in many months. I'm pretty cold. <laughs> Oh, and already it's very atmospheric. We've actually got a family Halloween event that runs in the daytime, and then the scares open later on this evening. And yeah, I like the big Halloween sign that they've added over there. It kind of looks permanent, doesn't it, with all the lights that it's got into it. That looks fantastic. Look at all this extra theming that they bring out for Halloween around here. Lots of lighting, all the pumpkins. Yeah, really excited for it. It's going to be a wet day, but we'll make the best of it. Yeah, the sign looks really good. Oh, here we go. The bad weather has started already. We only just walked into the park. You have got the sign over there for Halloween Fright Nights, though, which looks pretty good. And yeah, we've got the umbrella up. I've got my waterproof trousers on just down here. Charlotte's repping a Pleasure Beach poncho. <laughs> um, yeah, we've heard this event does get very busy. Um, so yeah, maybe the poor weather will put a few people off. Oh, the rain seems to have stopped now, which is good. And yeah, we're going to start off our day with a ride here on Lost Gravity. It's the park's 2016 Mac Rides Big Dipper. And yeah, we really like this ride. It's got a unique colour scheme and theme as well. Yeah, with the black and yellow track. Should be opening in just a moment. Well, it's only about 20 minutes after park opening. Yeah, I think all the major coasters were closed at the start because of the weather, which is quite understandable. Yeah, look at this, we're actually walking up an escalator as part of the queue line. Very different. Right, everything's upside down. The thing is really quirky on this. There it goes, first train of the day. So you've got eight seats, two rows of four. And yeah, two inversions on this ride as well. And with it being manufactured by Mac Rise, it does feature their signature light bar restraints, which are very comfortable. Oh, how trippy is this part of the queue line? Inside a shipping container, but it's very glamorous on the inside with all the lights. Oh, look at this, the blue sky and sunshine starting to come out now. We're ready for our ride here on Lost Gravity. And yeah, on-ride filming isn't permitted at this park. However, I have filmed some POVs with the park in the past when the weather is better than today. So yeah, I'm going to put in those POVs so we can take you along for our experience. Yeah, come and join us for a ride here on Lost Gravity and we'll see you when we come off.
ride on the amazing Lost Gravity to start our day here at Wallaby Holland. I love that coast, it's a bit. I couldn't wait to get back on this coaster. It is my favourite one at the park. It is brilliant. It really is, and it's the tiered seating on there that I like as well. The fact that, you know, if you're on the outer seats, you kind of go on a wing, aren't you, really? It just feels so open. Along with that, the first drop is amazing. And at the bottom, you've got that airtime hill, you've got the two inversions, you've got some other great moments of airtime. Just overall, it's a great layout. It's action-packed, it's smooth, it's comfortable, and the theme is certainly very quirky and different as well with all the shipping containers and like gravity has completely been lost and everything's been turned over i do really enjoy this coaster it was great to get back on it and we didn't get soaked oh i know i'm so glad the rain <laughs> stayed away bit of a bonus Both of you. Hey, look at all the bubbles just here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting one of the scare zones to be open in the daytime. Hello. Hello. <laughs> now, this is Pirate's Cove, and yeah, it looks like they open this for families in the daytime. They probably get scarier at night. Do you like the bubbles? Oh, the bubbles are great. Can I tell you a secret about them? Of course you can, yeah. Oh. Every bubble contains a child's soul. Oh, right. A child's soul. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the theming looks really good though for that scare zone. We'll definitely check it out in the dark tonight. Right then, the time has come to get back on Untamed. It was opening year 2019 when we rode this, so I'm very excited to get back on. I'll tell you what, the landscaping's really growing up around here now. Yeah, this is the park's RMC. And it's a really good coaster. This packed full of airtime. I love the final inversion on Untamed. Let's go and join the queue. Not too sure how busy it is. Yeah, the park doesn't feel too bad at the moment. We thought we'd get here early, get some rides in before the spooks tonight. Look at this. Oh, the old coaster train just up there. Yeah, this was a conversion from RMC. It used to be an old wooden coaster, and it's a massive transformation. It's so much better now. Yeah, found out it's a 25 minute wait. Perfect. These are also old pieces of track from the woody. Like when you look at it down here, you got like the running rails. Yeah, it's got a certain style about it, this park. You've probably noticed. They try and be very kind of modern and different with the look of this park yeah, it's great to be down here look at the views of it i'm really excited to get back on this i love it we've waited about 40 minutes including 10 minutes of weather delay and we're off. All it takes. The station is very cool with the lighting and all the mirrors. And yeah, all the lights that you've got on the side saying take the trip. There's one that says love on the lift hill as well. Here we go, it's going to take you on. Sluit alleen je riem en laat de beugel open. Een medewerker zal de beugel sluiten. Attention, fasten only your seatbelt and leave your lap bar open. And then you.
Untamed is a spectacular coaster from Rocky Mountain Construction. And for a drop that's only 116 foot, it really builds up a lot of speed. It rides like one of the big boys, like Iron Guazi or Steel Vengeance. You got four epic inversions on there. And that final roll is amazing. It's so close to the ground. It is. You get some great airtime on there, but I do find it a little bit uncomfortable because of the restraints on RMC coasters. Yeah, we always say that about the RMCs. The train design isn't amazing, uh, but I do love this coaster. And it was really good getting back on it again the airtime on there is incredible some of the double downs and double ups are just the layout on there it's really long and like i say for a coaster that's really not that tall it rides so good it's very vicious very intense and that's what i love about a coaster from rmc they really do warm up throughout the day as well i'd love a night ride on there tonight never had one before but we'll see how it goes with crowd levels it doesn't feel too busy yet though so we're making our way now down towards goliath just thought we'd stop and show you the new family coaster for 2023. It's called Eat My Dust. And yeah, it's part of the speed zone. You've also got the flat ride there in the middle. Here's a look at the station and the train looks fantastic for this. Look at that, really nice and colourful. Eat My Dust, yeah, what a name. Yeah, you got some theming around here, Lost Cars. I like how you got a layout of the track there. Here it comes. Oh my God. It looks pretty good. Let's go and experience it. We've oh, got a nice fountain package here in the speed zone. Yeah, the entrance is just around this way. And yeah, the weather's cleared up a bit now. So yeah, we've managed to arrange your marketing to film some more on-ride POVs, which is good. We thought if the weather's not going to be great, well, you're not going to see anything. But yeah, it's cleared up a bit now. So you're going to be able to get a nice on-ride POV for you all on this new coaster. Here's the entrance, the big Bye. wallaby sign. Yeah, it's an interesting name, isn't it? Let's go on. Hey, I'm off. Only waited about five minutes there, and it started raining again. Oh, we can't win with this weather today. <laughs> Luckily, it's looking a bit better for Toverland tomorrow. It's going to be coming up. Another vlog packed full of on ride POVs, that one filming vlogs throughout the day and here we go oh <laughs> Wee. it's a two light special this one oh a bit of an s bend under the lift and down into a helix 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 Wee. <laughs> that's a plus one. Oh, sharp brakes there <laughs> Quite a nice little family coaster. Added down here to the park. They've not really got loads of family attractions. It is more of a thrill park, Wallaby Helen. So obviously they're trying to do a bit more when it comes to families here and add some more attractions. Hey! They got a small zero Tivoli on the other side of the park. So yeah, this is a nice kind of ride to complement that. Oh! Oh, it's cold today now. Oh, and it's a great run. There you go. Eat my dust. Some on ride footage there from the new family coaster. Eat my dust. And yeah, I do like the train design on there. It's a bit of a funny name though for that, isn't it? But I suppose it does fit with the theme. Yeah, it's the speed zone this area is known as now. Quite a good zone with it. Yeah, and this uh, changed a few years ago. It was 2020, I believe. Obviously, this is our first time coming to the park um, in a few years, you know, so we've not seen this yet. And yeah, they've rethemed some of the flat rides. And also, as you can see, Goliath. It's had some upgrades to the station, looking pretty good. Iconic ride this, 150 foot drop. It's been operating here since 2002. Manufactured by Intamin, it's one of their mega coaster models. And yeah, this is a really good ride, packed full of airtime. Yeah, the weather's not great for POV, so I think I'm going to show you the one that I filmed a few years ago, down on the front row, in much better weather than give you a rainy pod. Always try and get the best on ride footage I can for you. So yeah, let's go and have our ride here on Goliath. <laughs>
coaster on Goliath. It was great getting back on that after four years. I really enjoy that coaster. First drop's amazing. Then you go up into really nice airtime hill, don't you? Oh, when you're on the front, you get proper pushed over those hills, so you get some fantastic airtime. Along with that, you got an iconic Stengel dive on there, which is really nice. Over the water, too, is the location of that ride that really adds to it. Uh, I do love that. And also, you then got them three bunny hops at the end of the ride. And again, being on the front, you are really pushed into them. I actually think it's a better front row ride than it is at the back. Um, and I really enjoyed getting on that again. Top speed of 65 miles an hour. And it's one of the most iconic coast in Europe that I remember playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 back in the day and uh, yeah it was on there you saw its old colour scheme of course with the purple supports and the green track and that's how it was when I first rode it uh, so I was quite all oh, upset when they changed the colour however it does look really good painted blue doesn't it? Oh, it looks great I just love with the coast how you're going out and then over all the grassy area and across the water it's brilliant. Yeah it's got a really good layout packed with air time very enjoyable ride and yeah such an icon. I can't believe this weather today. Look at it, it's blue skies and sunshine now. The weather cannot make up its mind. Uh, here's a look at the enterprise they've got here at the park. It's actually called G-Force, this one. Little nod to a former UK ride. Um, but yeah, this is the main part of the speed zone. So yeah, some of these other rides opened in 2020. There's the small little drop tower over there. And yeah, there was some re-themes and new scenery that was added around this area. So yeah, here's the little drop tower it was added just down here a nice little family ride that's the thing they seem to be wanting to you know incorporate the family market a lot more here now instead of just being the thrills i always kind of considered this as like thought park of the netherlands that's how it sounded kind of felt for me um but yeah it's interesting to see the kind of bringing in more family attractions they did have some before but yeah there's more seems to be bringing in Let's look at the SNS Shop Tower. Yeah, this had some new theming added a few years ago too. This part of the park looks better than it did before, in my opinion. And I've got to say, even in the daytime, playing creepy Halloween music. Yeah, I really do like that. Not too scary for the kids, but just a nice atmosphere. Yeah, sadly, the Shop Tower's closed. I so would have probably had a go on that. Still looks the part. Here's Charlotte doing a creepy dance. <laughs> oh, not on to go until my first scare experience. We'll talk about it soon. Can't believe that blue sky now, look at it. Yeah, they have got an upcharged sky coaster just here too. And yeah, I've never seen one quite like this before, where you've got the structure that's kind of half over there and then the other half just here on the right hand side. Yeah, they don't normally look like that, do they? <laughs> One of the worst coasters in existence is here at Wallaby Holland, in our opinion anyway. And that is Condor here, the original Vekoma SLC. This is where it all started back in 1994. However, since 2021, we've actually had new trains on here. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna ride because it was pretty terrible before. Really uncomfortable attraction. And yeah, it was the original where it all started. Yeah, one of our least favorite coaster models. However, I've heard that it is better now with the new trains. Yeah, and here they come. Now I've got the best restraints. That's going, it does look a bit shaky. Let's go and try it. Here we are then down the front of Condor. And yeah, we're going to take you on with a nice updated POV. It stopped raining. Let's go on. Hopefully it's going to be better with these vests. And we've got a dispatch. Row number one. Let's see how this is going to be. So there's pros and cons to these vests. They are quite tight. However, you don't have anything to kind of bash your head on now, which I do like, you know. So even if it is rough and a bit shaky, you're not going to whack your head. It's not going to hurt your ears. So these are the trains that I would love to see Blackpool Pleasure Beach put on Infusion. I think it would improve the ride experience. However, I have heard this is still quite rough, but it's better than it was before. So it's a small little improvement, not a huge transformation. But we will see how it's going to be. Look at all the wind turbines over there. Cracking view of Untamed. And I'm feeling a little bit scared. Not for this ride, but something coming up very soon. As part of the Halloween event. That's if I survive this. Let's uh, find out. It's Condor, the original SLC. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's still quite rough. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, 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 my God. 
I was there, it's fine, it's been quiet, it's for us now. Oh! 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 Blimey! A little drop down. Oh! 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know if it was better or if it was worse. Like, oh! Blimey, I was expecting it to be a bit smoother than that. I don't say this very often, but I would be happy to never ride that coaster again. I thought them new trains were going to have made an improvement. That was awful. What was that? <laughs> we was going round the layout. I was like this going round. Oh, I really didn't enjoy that. Shaking side to side. I've never known anything like it. I feel like them trains could have made it worse. I don't know. That was unbearable. I mean, it's been some years since we've been on it, so I can't remember just how bad it was before. I remember us saying it was awful. So maybe has it got worse or has it got slightly better? It's hard to say, but for, for me, that. It's terrible, that. I'd yeah. be happy if I never, ever went on that again. Yeah, I'm the same with that oh, one. Oh, I don't have to take back my comments about bringing them trains to infusion. I, know. I don't think they're going to make much difference. Ooh, I don't know. Or maybe it's just something about this one with it being old and with it being the original from 94. But yeah, I did not enjoy that one single bit. And we love riding coasters normally. But yeah, that was awful. It's starting to pick up quite a bit now. So yeah, it's probably going to be really busy tonight, but we have heard that about this event. And actually, they don't use their main car park right outside the park um, during the Halloween Fright Nights. You park over the road and then they put in like a temporary bridge that you walk over, which is quite different. It is free parking during this event though. We're going on a bit of a classic just here now, Los Sombreros. And why are they a classic for you? So these, there was the same model of these that used to be at Drayton Manor and I used to love them when I was a kid. Yeah, back at Drayton Manor in the UK. Yeah, they were replaced with Accelerator. And yeah, we'll, we'll have a ride on here. Charlotte loves it. Love it. What a classic. I think the one that they had there was a little bit bigger. Here we go. I'm trying not to love it. <laughs> I'm surprised you like this with it spinning loads. When I was younger, I used to go on this at Drayton Manor. Oh, one of your favourites. I'm surprised with it being a spinning flat ride. <laughs> yeah, just don't watch this in the middle. It'll make you very dizzy. <laughs> it's a bit slow this one, isn't it? I feel like it's just not getting going. I think it's seen better days this one. I thought we were, like, we were getting going. I thought, oh, I won't film for it until we get proper in the move. But yeah, it's not, is it? Probably just all right for you now. Yeah, it's spinning. <laughs> the sombreros. You know, they've got quite a lot of supporting flight rides though at this part. A little bit of on ride footage there from the Mexican Ats, as Charlotte likes to call them. The sombreros just there. It's a bit slow they are. I remember those being so much faster. Yeah, I think it was a bigger version that Drayton had. Yeah, I guess so. Well, yeah, we're making our way now onto the rapids just here. So, yeah, we'll go and take you on this one. Got to be close at four o'clock. It does, <laughs> yeah. Some of the rides do shut early. I think the family attractions shut early. I think so, and yeah. And then the thrill rides are obviously open through until this evening. <laughs> Look at this theme in over here. See, so yeah, what they've done with a lot of the older rides here, they've kept the theme in and they've painted it up to look a bit more modern and this certain style. <laughs> yeah, like this was here before and now he's got sunglasses on. It's not my idea of a, a theme, um, but still, it's different, isn't it? Busy. Is it? Al Rio Grande. I didn't think people would want a rapids on a cold day. We've waited about 20 minutes there and we're on the rapids. Hey, you alright there? These boats are funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it comes in like the water down the middle. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so they've had some re-theming work done since we were last here too. They've gradually been going around the park and overlaying it with all the spray paint and graffiti and all that kind of, oh, that kind of effect. <laughs> You're right there. There's just water coming out <laughs> Oh, it's funny how like, it comes. Oh, that's it. It comes down here. <laughs> Very different. Hey. I think all the mosaics and stuff look quite nice on there. Yeah, they do. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice effect. Creeping around. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a mega wave on this one. You never know. It is quite slow. It's quite unique though, isn't it? Yeah, like look at all this, very different. More of a lazy river, it's what Charlotte likes. 
<laughs> Very colourful. Oh. oh, it's a little trickle oh. coming over. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is an interesting design. It is. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's me speaking too soon. Oh, going down the side. This is it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the side, sort of stopped the wall from coming from the end of it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Very different. We are grand. Bit of a drop coming up here now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It is a bit slow though, isn't it? it? Is yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this creepy music playing around the park and cannot wait for tonight. Yeah, in terms of the rapids, wasn't the most exciting that one? I am bone dry. Yeah, you didn't really get anything there. Nothing at all. <laughs> quite a short ride as well, really, yeah, isn't it? It's quite slow around there. Yeah, it wasn't amazing. More of a lazy river, that one. You have got the big wheel. And yeah, all this trust and stage area set up for tonight. Yeah, really excited for everything we're going to be experiencing. And we're going to talk about what we've got coming up as part of Halloween Fright Nights very shortly. The theming for these scare zones around the park is really impressive. Can't wait to see them all lit up tonight. And yeah, here's a look over at the log flume that they've got here. And yeah, this has been rethemed since last time we came. It used to look a bit more Wild West. You know, they've kind of put all this extra theming on the outside there now. Yeah, it's certainly an interesting style. I mean, myself, I prefer the more original style themes uh, and more realistic. However, yeah, it is different what they've gone for here at this park. Yeah, it has got a double drop, the flume ride over there too. Right, let's talk about Halloween. Right then, let's talk about the Halloween experiences on offer here at Wallaby Holland. Our first time here, for this time of year. And yeah, here's a look at the different experiences on offer. You got haunted houses, walkthroughs, experiences, and then there's also scare zones as well. So with these ones, these are the ones that we're doing. So you can get the four maze combi and we paid 25 euros. Or what you can do is you can pay for them individually. So those are all the ones that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, you've got the Villa, Jefferson Manor, Psycho Shock, and the final sleigh ride, which is new. However, all of this is new to us. So I'm very excited uh, to do the four haunted houses that they've got here on offer. The next ones you've got is the walkthroughs. Now these are quite expensive, 16 euros and 10 euros. I believe these are like outdoor scare mazes. Yeah, so you've got Camp of Curiosities and the Wicked Woods just there. Then if you want something a bit more extreme, we've got the extreme one. So we've got below, Urban Explore Horror, The Clinic and Slaughterhouse being 25 euros, which is what Sean's doing. Oh, so yeah, I thought I want to make sure, you know, experience one of these kind of uh, intense, really heavily themed experiences. And uh, yeah, I thought I'm going to go for Slaughterhouse. This was new last year and I heard a lot of information about it. And uh, what's quite fascinating about this is it's actually a ride system of some form. Yeah, I am not doing this one. So Sean's going to be attached to like a ride system and he's going to be going through like the Slaughterhouse. This is not for me. So I'm Sending Sean it's effectively a dark ride here. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you think to this. Yeah, I mean, you've got the clinic and a few others that all look really good and intense, but this one, with it being a ride system, fascinated me. I'll give it a go. Oh, <laughs> definitely. See, so, yeah, I'm going to head in there shortly. Now, most of the attractions open up in the evening. Uh, these have opened from what, three o'clock in the I afternoon? That one opened from three o'clock, which is quite good, I suppose, so they can get so many people through. Yeah, I mean, it's quite expensive. Yeah, 25 euros is quite a lot, so I'm hoping that it's good for you. Oh, apparently, it's about a 15 minute experience. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to film. It. however I will give you an in-depth review um, of it so yeah we're gonna make our way around there now I'm quite scared so yeah the mazes are actually spread out throughout the whole park and yeah the slaughterhouse is just around the corner from lost gravity now if you've watched the channel for a while you'll know I don't really get that scared in scare mazes when we can film in them and show you our reactions you always know Charlotte goes first and yeah I just kind of film Charlotte showing her getting scared in them because she gets terrified myself I'm not normally too bad so I think with this one I ooh. could not have done this that's why I'm sending you in <laughs> it's like some sort of meat hook I'm going on I'm here terrified. like I'm really fascinated heard about this last year with it being the new attraction and I really wanted to come here and experience it uh, so I am really nervous I'd say this is the most nervous I've been for a scare attraction since Japan in 2017 are going into like that haunted hospital at Fuji Q Highlands. So I'm gonna make my way in now. It's the slaughterhouse. I'm gonna talk about it afterwards. Here we go. I am pretty terrified. Really nervous. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my god, in all the years I've been doing these scare attractions, that is definitely the most unique and scariest one I have ever done. I've got to say though, I loved it. I'm just going to talk about the experience for you now. Obviously, I know you can't take photos and videos or anything like that, and so it's going to be quite difficult to explain it, but I'll try my best. Uh, with that, you started off outside in like a, a meat truck, like an animal truck, and then made your way inside uh, the building itself. The truck didn't drive anywhere. Uh, and then a member of staff straight away, I think, spotted that I was English. And uh, yeah, from that point on, everything was in English for me, which was really good. So all the actors in there uh, it made it for me because I could understand the whole storyline. It's kind of like I've been for a job interview at like this meat factory. That was kind of what was explained to me. Went down a small slide um, and then arrived in this loading area for the ride system. Now, if you've done these, sorry, it's just so weird talking about something like this. Never done anything like it. You go in there into this ride system and it's kind of like all these chairs that are hanging from, you know like them high ropes courses that you do? Yeah. It was like one of those. Um, and I don't think it was powered at all. They were pulling me around and pushing me around. But anyway, at that part, um, I sat down in the chair, oh, this wooden chair, and I had to put my arms down my side and then what fastened me to this ride system wasn't a normal seat belt or a restraint. Literally, she got like these Velcro pads, wrapped them around my whole body. There was one here and one here, and my arms were tied down like oh. this. I was then pushed on this single chair down this little ramp. Straight away, there was a pig looking at me. There was all these other um, animals and people working at this meat processing plant. Um, and yeah, it kind of went through these little corridors and there was so much happening. It wasn't kind of high up and dangling down. I was probably my feet were at the level of this fence, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, and I was kind of a couple of meters up in the air. Um, and then from that point on, everything was just so well themed and so in your face. They were touching, they were grabbing, they were pulling my legs, pulling me round this ride system, pushing my back through the ride system. Um, and some of my highlights, so I mean, there's so much going on in there, but some of my highlights were definitely having my head shaved. Now, they had like, the, I don't know how it was done, it's like a, uh, this vibrating kind of machine, I'll leave it there, and it went through my hair, oh, and man. it felt like my hair was being chopped off. Obviously, I couldn't just get my hands and touch it, because they were touched like, like this, you know, they were all tucked behind me. Um, other highlights, uh, have been sprayed with like barbecue. And you like, stink. Like, absolutely stink. Uh, there was all these sprayers. Um, it was kind of like a car wash at one part. What well, I went through, and there was spin in it either side the corridors were really thin so it felt really in your face a pig then kind of stabbed me in the side with something i think he was checking my meat oh to see if my it was fresh. god uh, i was really full on um and then yeah i ended up with this big stamp uh, on me just here by the pig at the end i then had to escape and then got uh, to escape by this slide at the exit and an actor came out and was like go go get out quick before they get you um, but it was amazing it's so hard to talk and explain about something like that but it was unique i don't think the ride system was powered from what i could make out they were pushing and pulling you around but it was terrifying like it was really in your face at one point i actually had a knife a oh. fake knife obviously uh slit straight across me there it was touching it was grabbing it was full on you'd have hated it charlotte i'd love to have given it a go but i am way too scared for that yeah i would definitely pay to do it again if you come in here and you love Halloween and you love dark rides because it is a dark ride it's a suspended um, dark ride really and um, then definitely give it a go I recommend it but yeah I was terrified I'm so glad I did it it was well themed it was immersive the actors in there did a really good job and I'm excited to do the other mazes tonight oh I still can't get over that what an incredible experience if you are coming down here to this park over Halloween definitely give it a go however it may not be for you if you do get scared easy that one I know I smell of like barbecue don't I yeah it's because they were spraying me throughout like all sorts was happening in there it's hard to explain it all but I uh, really enjoyed it. it was great here's another part of the park you know they've actually got a talking fountain just over here very similar to the one in Universal Islands of Adventure you know, there's somebody controlling it and he plays a bit of music and also, it'll soak you with water effects. <laughs> yeah, you got the wave swinger and the carries out. Oh, I like how he's soaking people. <laughs> I've now got to walk around with this big uh, print on my forehead. People are looking at me funny. You've also got speed of sound over there, which is the Vacoma boomerang. However, the queue is huge. It's on 85 minutes. It's getting busy now, isn't it? It's getting busy. I'm looking forward to seeing how busy it gets. Oh, I think it's going to be heaving tonight, but I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. And I'm very excited for the other mazes now. Here it is, speed of sound. I'll tell you what, it's turned into a nice day now, hasn't it? Sun shining, lovely blue skies. And yeah, we're certainly not gonna wait that long. 
throw a boomerang, but what I will do, I'll put in a POV for you, because as much as this is the standard layout, I like all of these from Vekoma, um, this one does actually have onboard sound and also lighting effects as well. So yeah, I'll put in that POV for you, so you can see what this is like, because we will not be waiting 85 minutes, I know that. got a splash battle down in this area of the park it's got some good bits of theming around yeah it's the same sort of model as the one at flamingo land back in the uk i tell you what there's loads of scare zones settled throughout the park really excited to see them tonight they've also got a hus magic down there can't really see it that well because of the trees and also the smoke but yeah you got the sun shining through very spooky and atmospheric it's, it's cold you want to go on the splash battle no. Last time we went on there, we broke down and we got so <laughs> <laughs> We did get really, really wet on there. Got some hay bales and pumpkins around. And yeah, they have got a small children's area with some flat rides around in this part of the park too. But yeah, if you are coming over Halloween, this closes at six o'clock. So yeah, these aren't open yeah, yeah. through until 11 with the rest of the park. It's getting busy there now. Can't believe how this weather's turned out now. It's really nice. And yeah, here's a look at Tomahawk. Frisbee ride they got here in this part of the park. So that's the thing, they've actually got quite a lot of flat rides here. Some good thrilling flats too, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's quite a well-balanced park with attractions. And yeah, they have actually got a dark ride. That's a madhouse right in the center of the park. So yeah, we'll head around there and show you that in a little bit. Then yeah, here's that Zero Tivoli that I mentioned, Draco, just over here. make our way onto another roller coaster here now at Wallaby Holland and that is located inside this building well at least the entrance is anyway the coaster is off to the right so yeah we're going to go and get onto Express wow. platform 13 now I like this Halloween sign just outside there's yeah, a weird part of the park this because you've got like the shop in here there's some eateries and the entrance to the coaster yeah it's quite weird because you walk through there and you get down to the front of the park this queue line is awesome you got the train just there all the billboards. This is very cool. So yeah, this roller coaster manufactured by Vekoma is actually rock and roller coaster from Disneyland Paris outside from the Lurch Tunnel. And watch out for the rats. And it has started to rain again, so I'm going to put in a previous POV that I've recorded for this one from the front row. It's awesome, this queue line. Oh, where are we going? Not that way, down here. <laughs> <laughs>
I am getting some funny looks with this big stamp on my forehead. People are laughing at him. <laughs> it's quite funny though, you know who's been in because you can see everybody all the way around. Uh, but here we go, we had our ride there on Express Platform 13. I enjoyed it, it's got a 55 mile an hour launch and also there's some great theming and three inversions. The theming stops outside though. I like the launch, I wish I'd just get off at the end. I found that really rough. See, I don't think it was too bad. You gotta think it is an old school Vacoma. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's 23 years old now, opened here in year 2000, but it was well worth getting on. Now, I mentioned earlier that they have got one dark ride at this park. It's a Vacoma Madhouse, and apparently there's a Halloween overlay. Back down here now into the wilderness. They got some interesting theming at this park. Yeah, it's certainly a different style. It's not my favorite, I'll be honest, but yeah, it is different. And here it is, the attraction's called Merlin's Magic Castle. Now, as you can see, it's actually got all graffiti on the outside. Yeah, it used to be just like a nice castle theme and they put all the graffiti on. It's certainly a style. Yeah, like I said, it's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, we're gonna head around this way and we'll give it a go. It looks quite busy, but it is high capacity. Probably seats about 70 people. smoke just out here and how did you find Merlin's Magic Castle? It was like being back at Hex at Alton Towers but this one's actually open. Hey! <laughs> oh I had to get that one in there. The theming there. in there is very similar to Hex, even like the curves in the roof and everything like that. It's so nice to get on a madhouse again. Yeah, this had really good lighting though there, didn't it? Yeah, it looked really good. I just don't like the outside with all the graffiti. Yeah, it's like it's abandoned from the outside. I'm not a fan of that look, but yeah, the attraction was good. Oh, it's brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Halloween overlay with a great soundtrack. It's just gone six o'clock. They've played a part wide announcement saying that's it. The family Halloween event is over and Fright Nights is here. And yeah, the scare zones that have been open throughout the day. I've gone terrified now. Costumes have changed. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, look at the crowds down here. It's like a graveyard theme. And it's actually called Ghostly Graveyard. Lots of props all the way around. <laughs> Gotta look good at night, these are. Wow, look at the mummy. <laughs> See you in the park. Oh wow, look at the bride just over here. Oh, oh amazing. The costumes and makeup are brilliant. Right then, the time has come to experience our first of the four haunted houses here at this year's event. Bear in mind, it's our first time doing these and we're really looking forward to them. So yeah, heading down a pathway kind of behind Untamed over here. Really excited, Charlotte, are you? Well. It's called Psycho Shock. I don't know what to expect. Neither do I. I've not read too much into it. We're going to go and find out. Of course, we can't film inside, but we will see you when we come out. I'll give you a bit of a review. We've got loads of scare zones to walk around, though. They're free of charge, and of course, we can film in those. Look at that amazing view, though. Oh, I love how you got the reflection of the trap there from Untamed in the water. We'll see you after Psycho Shock. So we just come out of Psycho Shock, and yeah, with that, it was all hospital themed, very clinical in there. Some of the smells, oh my god. My favourite <laughs> scene in there was like a dentist chair, and the smell in there, I actually thought I was back at the dentist. Yeah, there was lots of syringes and stuff around as well. Uh, it was very heavily themed, lots to look at, all the clinical style walls covered in blood, uh, lots going on in there to see. It was quite a long attraction, it was about 10 minutes in length, and yeah, it was very immersive. Lots of small corridors, then some bigger set pieces as well to enjoy. And yeah, the acting quality was great as well. They were kind of coming out uh, from places where I didn't think they were going to come from. Yeah, you you know. wouldn't expect them, like coming out from walls <laughs> and like out of some cupboards and stuff. Oh, it was really good. They had some of them drop down windows in there as well that you find at quite a lot of attractions. So they were good. We did think some of the scares were a little bit repetitive, didn't we? Yeah, some of them, as we call them, like push button scares, where they'll do a push button and then an effect will go off and then they'll do it. I like more personalized scares. Yeah, there was a few bits that were repetitive, but still, we did enjoy it. It was very heavily themed. Worth pointing out, they don't touch you in these four mazes either uh, that's saved for the uh, extra charge attractions like slaughterhouse that they did earlier on but uh, talking to slaughterhouse the pigs have let me go free now <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the entrance to the speed zone area of the park that I was talking about earlier with that new family coaster. Looks a bit like the Marmalizer. <laughs> We're making our way now into another scare zone. It's called Tangled Twigs. <laughs> oh, look at him just here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love scare zones like this. For me, these are like, oh, Bushman. These are like proper scare zones. You know, you don't need to queue up or anything to walk through. Oh, look at all the smoke. This would be very atmospheric at night. Oh, wow. Oh my god! Ah, look at him! <laughs> oh look at this side piece over here. Looks like maybe at some point they make a sacrifice and sit them in that chair. Okay, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh hello. It's Wicker Man. <laughs> oh look at this, the atmosphere is really changing the bar now. Got a DJ down here at the front by the big wheel. Look at that. Brilliant. Look at all this smoke. I think there's more atmospheric fog here than Halloween Horror Nights. And the geese are loving it too. <laughs> Hello, George. Look at the scale of this scare zone. It's Pirates Coves. Yeah, we came through here earlier on, had that funny interaction with the actor. Completely different atmosphere now tonight. The music's changed and everything. I do think it's good though how they have the family event in the daytime. I see that. It's a lot more creepy now. Oh. <laughs> Look at the set pieces. I mean, this is actually a scare zone. We got half a galleon ship just over here. Cannons. Oh, he's got a whistle. <laughs> Big scale props. Starting to get dark now as well. Look at it up there. Lost gravity in the background. Oh. This is atmospheric. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh, I still can't get over Slaughterhouse. That was the entrance off to the right. And here we go, Festival of Freaks, another scare zone. This in part of the park that isn't normally open during the regular season. It opens just for Halloween. And look at this. Wow, first time coming up here. It's all undercover. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, it's massive. Oh, it's kind of like a hub area for the event as well. Lots of food outlets, there's actors. All the fire pits, oh, this is great. Look at the cars up there. This is very atmospheric. All carnival theme. I love this idea of having a hub kind of set up like this. They've got all these ramps and bridges and stages around. Wow, it's massive around here. And like I said, this is all closed off normally. You got a caravan just over there, big fire pit, and a windmill just at the top. Yeah, this is awesome. So this show's just started happening all around us. It's really cool. You got Eddie the Clown just over here. The mascot of the event, there he is. Well, he's a bit of a legend here at Wallaby Fright Nights. It was really good to see Eddie the Clown just there. And I love this hub area. It's great how it's all in the cover as well. You've got all the lighting, all the smoke, all the fire. Really good setup. Yeah, it seems like they do various different shows at different times around here. Now, of course, all the big coasters are open at night for you to enjoy rides in the dark. And yeah, I have seen photos in the past 
have lost gravity all lit up at night they had a dj in the helicopter and yeah all lighting but they've not brought it back for this year which is a shame I was hoping to see that in person because on photos and videos looked really good last year These parks really know how to get the Halloween atmosphere right into another scare zone. Our final one to see. We'll probably head back through the others, making our way around, see them at night. Oh, there's a big cuddly tent down there. This one's called Nightmare. What makes it creepier is it's built in the kids themed area as well. So all the kids rise up, it's super creepy. It's like it's themed around dolls and weird things going on in your nightmares, this one. Oh! Oh, wow. This is atmospheric. Look at the kids' play area all closed off. It says nightmares just up there. Oh my god, it's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> With a doll. Oh, that splash battle looks amazing, little. It kind of acts as theming for the scare zone. No one to squirt now. No, the queue for the maze, I think, using that. Yeah, no, the splash battle ain't open. This is really good. The scare zones are fantastic. Here comes the rain again. <laughs> it's not been too bad though tonight. Speed of sound lit up over there. And yeah, we've got all this big truss area and a silent disco going on just over here. <laughs> Loving a silent disco. Just the one DJ on this one. Normally you have two or three, don't you? Kind of competing with each other and you can change the track. But yeah, everyone's got the same colour on. All red. That's a good setup. And we're back down here now at the main entrance street to the park. Yeah, quite ambient sounds playing in the background. I love all the lighting and the big Halloween sign up there flashing and lit up at night. Oh, lightning. Oh, I'm loving walking around this event for the first time and discovering it all. As you mentioned earlier on, another one of the extreme experiences is the clinic. And that's where it's located inside that building there. Basically, they tie you down to like a hospital bed and will you around. It sounds pretty terrifying. We are making our way now into our second scare maze and that is Jefferson Manor. We only waited about five minutes for the first one. However, with how busy it is now, I think we'll be waiting quite a while for this. <laughs> We've just come out of Jefferson Manor and the theming in there was incredible. It all started off with a big facade actually built inside the building where the mazes are. And they tend to do that from the two that we've seen so far, instead of having the facade on the exterior. And yeah, this big old manor, there was candles, there was staircases, there was a piano. Uh, there was a lot going on in there, wasn't there? There was so much theming. Everywhere was themed. It was like seeing little bits everywhere. Yeah, it was fantastic. I also loved how there were scares coming from above and below. Kind of walked over some grills and other parts uh, there was all these kind of crates stacked up there was smoke blasting out and lots of lighting to create a really nice effect and i had a massive scare it wasn't from an actor literally uh, a bookcase fell towards me in there i missed it and sean was like ah! and i saw the bookcase like hanging down lots of uh, drop down windows in there some good scares yeah the attraction lasted about seven or eight minutes so yeah pretty good length on there too um, which was great they do need to work on the queue lines though don't the they the queue line was like an absolute <laughs> mud bath yeah you saw it in that clip uh, prior to this one yeah like covered under a tent and it took about 20 minutes and yeah in terms of your group size they're not letting too many in at a time um yeah it's normally about 10 or so in a group but yeah i think it seems to vary very much enjoyed that though beautifully themed uh, the actor costumes are great uh, the smells are fantastic throughout the very immersive the set scale of the set pieces is great very halloween horror nights really enjoying seeing this event and what it has to offer after all these years of wanting to come it's now time for the villa another scare maze for us we waited about 15 minutes there for the villa and that was completely different to what we were expecting we were going through lots of different scenes from horror movies that was brilliant i had some fantastic scares in there the main one was from freddy krueger i was terrified oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god he scared me then <laughs> so you didn't die yet no oh. no we're okay that's disappointing oh. maybe next year thank you <laughs> we'll See be back <laughs> oh, oh my god, that got me so then <laughs> yeah we 
everywhere, like the Scream masks in there, Chucky was in there as well. Lots of iconic horror scenes, he got me proper good there. <laughs> it was just competitive to what I was expecting. The theming was really good. Lots of great hiding place in these mazes. It's quite dark in some of the scenes, so the actors just come right at you, don't they? That was my favorite one so far. That was brilliant. It was quite short, about five minutes in length, that one. But yeah, it was really well themed. He got me good, just. <laughs> Um, yeah, going through all these different horror movies. And yeah, there's kind of terrain change in there as well, which was good. The theming in these though is incredible. The atmosphere is electric walking around this park at night. Great to see it in the dark. And yeah, these scare zones are incredible. They're a bit too busy to enjoy them though and see all the actors. It's like, look at this now. It is even. You can barely see the performance. And the theming is awesome, but yeah, it is crowded. Oh, this reminds me of the good old days going on Ripsaw at Alton Towers before it got removed. Yeah, they got a classic top spin just here. Really good rides. Yeah, it's been shut most of the day, but it's open this evening now. But yeah, I haven't got time to go on it sadly tonight. I sort would have had to go on there earlier. Yeah, had some downtime in the day. Yeah, they're still running. It's called Blast. And we're coming for a walk now again through the ghostly graveyard. We have seen all the scare zones now, but we saw this one in the daylight earlier. Thought we'd come through at night. More atmospheric. I love how they're playing out this little scene here. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's doing Reaper. Oh. So simple, but really effective. Rejection effects. Now that is how to light up an RMC at night, untamed. Looks phenomenal there with the lighting package. All the lift there on this outward banked part of the ride at the start. Looks awesome. I'd love a night ride on it. I've never had one before. We have the queue lines close at 10 o'clock, even though the event finishes at 11. But we've got our last scare maze booked for 10. So sadly not gonna have a chance for a night ride. Would have loved to though. The signs all lit up purple too. And yeah, you've got love and be brave around the lift hill and the station with this awesome waterfall. The camera doesn't do it justice, but yeah, that does look incredible. That's how to light a coaster. Lots of clear signage around the park for the event, which is good to see. We're making our way now to our final scare maze, the final sleigh ride, new for this year. SLC Condor looks pretty good at night. Shave it rides like a shopping trolley. But here it comes, yeah, great lighting. Red and also turns green every so often. Yeah, I do love the lighting packages. That looks nice. Oh, strobing. Oh, and that's a green. Oh, this is good. We're walking down this path. They've got people dressed as bushes and trees standing at the side, jumping out and scaring people. How good's that? <laughs> it probably got us just. And here's the entrance to the final sleigh ride. Yeah, we think it's Christmas themed this one. We're looking forward to it. And we'll see you when we come out. So we just come out of our final scare attraction. And I've got to say, it was quite disappointing that, wasn't it? I think it just felt a little bit cheap in areas. Like the theming was there, but it was just like Christmas tree. And I just wasn't a fan. Good concept, poorly executed, I think, with that one. I mean, we had Father Christmas trying to scare us. Some elves jumping out of like toy boxes and presents. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, yeah, I really wasn't a big fan no. of that. Uh, I think it could have been done a lot better uh, than it was. It felt just really cheap and nasty uh, in a lot of places, that one. But still, it's an interesting idea for a scare maze, but I didn't get one jump no, in there. No, I didn't either. Yeah, it felt like a different event going in there, really. It's a shame because a lot of people have said that they enjoyed it tonight, who've been chatting to, fans of the channel, but everybody has different opinions. For us, that wasn't quite it, no, was it? I didn't enjoy that one. Everything else has been really high quality, though. And yeah, there was a couple of bits in there where I was walking around thinking, what is going where on? Am I? Yeah, it was more confusing, unless that's what they were going for, more of a tacky, confusing theme than full on scares. But yeah, it didn't really work for me. One final scare zone to end the night, Tangled Twigs. And yeah, we are just chatting with some more fans of the channel. We've met loads out here. We love our Dutch fans, so it's always great to see you all. And yeah, he was telling us the location of that maze is actually set to be where the two new coasters are going for 2025. And yeah, I'll talk more about those in the outro. So yeah, quite interesting. Maybe that's why it was done. Maybe on the cheap, that new maze, because that area's been demolished. 
All this lighting's really good as we make our way down to the park exit. So atmospheric. So like pumpkins all the way down. And as we leave just here, it says it was all a dream. However, I would say it's more been a nightmare. <laughs> oh, look at the entrance just here. All lit up for Halloween Fright Night. I've loved seeing this event for the first time. And yeah, just before we do the wrap up, just want to talk about that new coaster. Yeah, they're opening two IMC single rails in 2025. We will definitely be back for then. And so yeah, really excited. One's going to be more thrilling and the other family. So yeah, that's all coming to the left hand side of the park where that scare maze was just. Well, that brings us to the end of our day here at Wallaby Holland, and it started raining again, I hasn't it? I can't believe it's been on and off all day. Oh, it has, but we've had a really good time. My highlight of today was definitely Slaughterhouse. That was an amazing experience, terrifying but epic. I'll never forget it. I loved seeing him pop out the slide at the end. Oh, it was brilliant, that was. Along with that, getting back on Lost Gravity, Untamed, Goliath, the big three coasters here for me. Uh, but along with that, some other nice rides, plenty of flats in this park. Um, yeah, overall, it's been a great day, hasn't oh, it? It's been fantastic. You're getting scare mazes in as well. Yeah, the mazes have all been really good quality, apart from the one right at the end. Yeah. Bit disappointed with that one, but especially with everything else I experienced. I thought that was going to be really good, but it was quite weak. However, um, the scare Air zones have all been really good. It was great seeing Eddie the Clown as well, and just the overall atmosphere around the park has been great. It has been really busy. I do feel like for the size of the park, uh, they do let a few too many in though, don't you? Yeah, I think they need to control how many people are coming in. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit real more reduced capacity, but still we've had a great time right here at the rain now at the end. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. I would definitely return to this event. The atmosphere has been incredible, and uh, the parks look lovely at night. It really has with all of the fantastic lighting. Uh, lots of on-ride POVs as well, and overall just been a great day. Uh, anyway, we're going to get in the car, yeah, aren't we? So we're getting so wet here at the end of the day. Thanks for joining us. Next vlog coming up will be from Toverland, and we're going to be checking out their Halloween event for the first time too, and enjoying the park in the dark. But we're here from Wallaby Holland. That leaves with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on riding. riding. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.